Good morning everyone, my name is Alan Stott, welcome to part 4 of episode 82 of Dodd's Diaries. Today is Thursday the 28th of November, it is now, it's coming to 9 o'clock, and my fourth day here in Paris, well again, I'm not living in Paris half the day, it's another new journey for me, so I'm travelling from Garde Lyon down to the Burgundy city of... Dijon, a total of 165 miles. So I'm going to be travelling on one of SNCF's in in Wii trains. There's a double decker ones actually, so I'll be going on one of them high speed ones for the first time. Dijon looks a canny city when I've looked at it. Um, it has got a tram system, two lines as well. I'm just hoping I don't have any trouble at the station when I get down there. Otherwise I'm going to have to try and think of stuff what to do there because I'm there from about 12 o'clock till half seven today. Just uh, getting myself sorted and then I'm going to go and catch a uh, couple of uh, metro trains. Oh yeah, Dijon's known for its uh, mustard. down this road take us to a, a different station on Metro Line 5 that'll take us to um, Data Osterloo that'll take me to Data Osterloo and I'll walk across the River Seine from there to Data Leon and it get going
Right, we're on one of SNCF's double data trains. This is going to Zurich in Switzerland via Dijon, Basel, and then to Zurich. Our journey time's about an hour and a half. Let's enjoy. Welcome on board this TGV Lyria 2, Zurich, calling at Dijon, Mulhouseville, and Basel. May we remind you to label your luggage with your name and address.
Right, here I am in the Burgundy city of Dijon, in the southeast of France. I'm about 160 miles from Paris and I'm over 90 miles from Geneva in Switzerland. Now that was a good ride out there, uh, like, uh, like the French countryside. So now this station is all on curves. Now I'm being very careful here after what happened to Gardela Est. Anyone I say approaching me, I'm keeping my wits about us at all times. This is at least a 50% chance I could get bollocked here, which I hope I don't. Now to get around Dijon, there is a tram system which opened in 2012, which I am going to use. Hopefully I should be fine here. So looking at this station, it's all on curve. We've got various local trains around here. You can actually go to a city of Lyon from here. Um, the train journey to Zurich, it takes another couple of more hours to get there in Switzerland. The journey time from Paris down to here was an hour and a half. Got some uh, various other trains over here. I'll tell you what, one I've seen over here, a lot of them, there's a lot of graffiti on a lot of them, especially on the metro in Paris. I don't think they even bothered cleaning it off because it just gets graffitied all the time. Right, I think I'll finish it in here. I've gotten a few trains, I'm happy with that. I think the nerves are just getting to the better of us. It's all because of Tuesday, that's why I'm a bit nervous now, here in France. I've got four more Paris terminals to do. I might have a walk up that way, and I'll get a view of the station. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and have a look around this historic city. So here is Dijon's tram network. These trams here, they look like um, airboard trams from uh, like Nottingham and Edinburgh and that. Here's one here. 
There are two lines of this system, and it's they're built by Alston, these trams. The system opened in 2012, and it's cost it about just under five euro for a day ticket. Right, okay, here I am in the city centre of uh, Dijon. What we have here, dating back to the 1700s, looks like it's based on the uh, Arc de Triomphe. Uh, in English, it's called the William Gate. In French, it's called the uh, Porte de la Lumie. It looks very nice that you see there's Christmas decorations on the outside of it, so this will be lovely. A little bit night time. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, Rue de la Lipsa. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like a shopping street. Some high street shops and all that down here. But I'll be taking a look around these streets. And I'm through here till half past seven tonight. So as I walk down Rue de la Liberty, there is one item I must find, I must take home while I'm over here. That is of course Dijon mustard. Not just uh, Colman's mustard, but this is proper Dijon mustard from Dijon itself. Well, I found one, or many I would imagine, it's called Mutada Mil Lily. Obviously stands with mustard, nanny or something. Anyway, I've just bought, take a look at my bag, a little assortment of mustards there, and I've also gotten a, um, a lemon and garlic jar of mustard as well. Now, French mustard is not as hot and fiery as a normal English mustard from uh, Norwich. But still draws, and it still draws well with uh, beef and all that. The transport operating company in Dijon is called Diva, Divia, D-I-V-I-A, and it's a pink and grey colour. Meantime, this is Church of uh, St. Michael, Eglise St. Michael it is what it is in French. This is definitely a city which is full of history. <clears throat> a lot of the streets have been walked around, you can tell by the buildings and all that. And that cloud does not look too promising. Looks like we've got some quite a bit of rain on its way. I'm sure a lot of these buildings will probably date back to what, 17, maybe the 1800s? You never know. There's been loads and loads of churches and historic buildings what I've seen so far. And this here is Cathedral St. Ben de Dijon. And as I take a look at this, some sunshine is coming out, but there's still plenty of these rain clouds around. Them trams are quite colourful on the inside, they're actually pink and white colours. You wouldn't get them on the trams back in the UK.
this is interesting, we've got an ice rink. Lighter skate around on. And this here is Dijon's Place de la République. There is one in Paris as well. This one dates back to 1888, when I've read it up. That was a good catch. Just walking alongside Dijon Station and I've just got a uh, French freight train. Brilliant. This looks like a depot for SNCF 10 trains. So you see we've got a uh, TGV in we I think there might be TGV uh, Lira trains. I think I did I get one of them back to Paris later on. You do get some lovely views from up here, it's just share about this high fence or you can see the uh, like the cathedral just over there with that spire. You can see quite the way out from here as well. But then just to share about this fence. Found a better view of the station. That's one of uh, TTV's uh, Lyra trains coming in and it looks like I've got a French Freight train coming through as well. Freight from the UK will come to France and Germany and that via the Channel Tunnel. I think the DH, the railway lines, is the same. It's only in Ireland and Northern Ireland where it's slightly wider.
Right, I'm going to take the wharf back into the city. You see, that's a, a good spot, that, for train spot here. It's a shame about the weather today. Just trying to think what station this could remind us of. It's all on a curve, just all canopies and that. Um, anyway, I think I'll take a walk back into the city centre. Fancy getting something to eat. So here we have Dijon lit up at night time, looks good but there must be switching the Christmas decorations on perhaps this week. Meantime I'm going to I think get one more tram back to Dijonville station. I've got an hour till my train back to Paris. Train back to Paris, uh, Leon coming in, 1926. Since. Get there about five past nine. Mesdames, Messieurs, nous vous souhaitons un bon voyage. Messieurs, votre...
votre attention, s'il vous plaît, nous sommes arrêtés en pleine voie pour votre sécurité. Ne tentez pas d'ouvrir les portes ni de sortir du train. Merci. I'd assume he's saying that we apologize for stopping for some reason. Mesdames, Messieurs, dans quelques minutes, notre TGV va arriver à son terminus par Gare de Lyon. Avant de descendre, assurez-vous de ne rien de plus à votre place. Merci d'attendre l'arrêt complet TGV et un quai avant de descendre. La SNCF et son personnel espèrent s'effectuer un arrêt en voyage et vous souhaite une bonne fin de soirée. Prochain arrêt par Gare de Lyon, terminus de ce TGV. Just coming towards me, trying to lean on.
was a good ride that, although we were a few minutes late getting back here. Uh, something happened, I think, in the tunnel. Something. Anyway, I fancy going to Shams Elise tonight once again. I need to go and start off the quickness, I'm going to go and catch the RER. To the Champs Elysees, I love it here so much. I thought I'd come out then and spend the evening here. Of course, it's a lot different than when I was here two years ago. Of course, this time with all the Christmas decorations up, it looks stunning lit up at night. Here's the Arte Triomphe just here. Seen a number of other building and other landmarks like that. Based on that, obviously I saw one in Dijon today, going back to the 1800s. That is a, a beauty, that. I just love the atmosphere around here. I'm going to take a little walk down the street. Yeah. 
You know, just looking at Paris, I'm sure this is the city that never sleeps. Massive, massive traffic's queuing all the way in the middle there, down the edge here. Tomorrow, this street and everywhere else in Paris is going to be haven because tomorrow it's Black Friday. I think I might have a look around at the Black Friday sales as well. There's going to be bumps and shoves on everyone. People waiting outside to get in. They're all going to cram in. Yeah, there's going to be fights and squabbles and all that. You know, give me that tilly and everything. Well, I suppose I'll check it out tomorrow because I might get something. Right, it's 20 past 11, it's getting late. I'm gonna jump on Metro Line 9 at Franklin D. Roosevelt Station to, um, it'll be called, I'm just looking up now actually, to St. Lazar Station. Now from there I'll jump on line three, that'll take us back to Parmentier, my stop, back to the hotel. I've had a lovely time out here tonight, I've been for a drink. Now time for me to uh, duck down for the night. I'm <laughs> 
Problem <laughs> like that before I've even gotten to my hotel. Just hope I don't get stuck on this all night. Now, coming up to 20 to 1, it's time for me to get me head down for tonight. So today, my fourth day here in France, it's been good. I've been on another new journey for me. I actually went from Paris, Gare de Lyon, to Dijon. Quite fast rise it was. I think we went over 160 miles, the journey distance. I think we went up to about... I don't know if, I'm sure it's nearly 200 mile per hour what these uh, TGV trains do over here. So we did that, so we went 
Tourism Art Prower, South East, to Dijon in Burgundy. Now, Dijon Station, I thought, looked a good spot and location. It was all on a curve. I'm trying to think of any other station that's got sim um, similar sort of layout. Obviously, York and Newcastle stations are uh, all pretty much all curved. They've got overroofs. Dijon just had um, canopies. I didn't get, had no trouble. Um, I was at the station spotting for just under an hour. I got a good selection of um, SNCF, and I think there was another train company that was, that was something else that was there as well. However, I was quite nervous all the way. After me, Joshua encounter where I had a Dradler S on Tuesday, that has uh, nerved me a bit now with all the other stations here in France. I still plan to go back to Gardler Est at some point this week for uh, vengeance. Anyway, our Deja on our fort looked a nice city. If you like your history and all that, <coughs> then it's worth a visit. Because Deja on our fort was, um, was full of history. All the old buildings, some date back to like 1700s, 1800s and that. Including that arch, which looked like the Arc de Triomphe, but just a, a just a lot lot smaller, really. When the main shopping street was called Rue de Libertation, I think. Um, it rained most of the day, and quite the ground was quite wet, and um, because of the, how how the pathways and everything were built, it was quite easy to uh, slip as well. Went on the, uh, had a couple of rides on the uh, Dijon tram system. That just opened in 2012, so it was still a newish tram system. The trams were built by uh, Alstom, just like in um, Nottingham, actually. The uh, Satidus trains they looked a bit similar to that. I think, um, I don't know if, if Edinburgh will either be Bombardier or Alstom who built them trams there. But anyway, I thought um, Dijon tram system looked good. Um, pink lights on the inside. The colours were pretty much uh, pink and I think black or grey. The transport operating company was called Davia. So when I got my me, um, me tram ticket, I had a Davia card. A Davia card. Hmm, right. Well, these, well, this is, you buy your tram ticket at the machines and then you have to validate it every time you get on a tram at, um, at a validation point. Quite obviously a packed system. You know, not, not one moment did I see a tram nearly empty. Um, after about six hours, I just started getting a little bit bored. Oh, I did also find uh, another spot the uh, video Dijon station just um, going up alongside the station you would actually see quite a way out as well of the city and I thought the scenery looked kind of good and with this location you could see right down I actually got a couple of uh, French freight trains as well freight trains can go from the UK in fact they actually do go from like the UK to Forston and then through the Channel Tunnel to like France, Belgium, or even Germany as well, they can do that. Um, <coughs> after I finished, I got the uh, my train was at nine, uh, just twenty five past seven. It was a uh, in we SNCF TGV, oh, and the one going down was called was a TGV Lira uh, service. Coming back, um, again, it was a good journey. Well, over five minutes late, uh, we came to a halt. Some point, I think, near a tunnel. Must have been summed up. Once I got back to Garde Leon, went to Champs Elysees, the Arc de Triomphe. I love the Champs Elysees. It is absolutely stunning. If I, I think out of all the streets in Paris, that has to be my favourite. And I'm probably going to be back there another few more times before I go home. <coughs> After I finished, I, I had a drink on the Champs Elysees. Ten, ten euro for a pint. 
Now, in Benidorm, I was getting pints as cheap as one euro, but then again, that's Benidorm. This is Paris, and you get pints, and everything's expensive, food and drink. Once I finished at um, Champs-Élysées, I uh, came back to here. Uh, one of the tr um, uh, metro on the, one of the trains, Metro Line 3, um, for a moment I thought it was going to break down. I think the driver had to restart the train a number of times. They can get gremlins there. No, I'm not surprised because they've got very old trains on a number of the um, metro lines. You might have been here as seeing MP53 for some of the Paris metro stock. Actually, I've been wrong. On line three is actually actually MF67 stock, just with uh, steel wheels. Um, the older trains, there's, all, there's MP73s, they're on like Metro Line 6 and 11. 6 actually runs across the River Seine over the Berhakian Bridge. Um, on Line 6 and 11, they're rubber tired. And um, on Lines 3, 3, BIS 10 and 12, the uh, MF67s are steel wheeled. Of course, some of the new some of the new metro. I'm just looking through the rolling stock now. They've got some of the new MF or ones on lines two, five, and nine. And there's actually meant to be some new metro trains called MP14s that are due to come out. What I find with the Paris metro system, quite a few things. Firstly, graffiti. There's quite a lot of it around. I don't think they even bother cleaning it because it happens all the time over here there's a lot of cracked stuff in the windows and that that have been like drawn in and all that there's always the same smell of wee on a lot of the stations as well <coughs> a lot of beggars and that actually sleep on the metro system now in London at the end of the night they would actually clear them away but over here they don't give a damn about them they just let them sleep there for the night there's probably I think one or two sleeping in nearby Parmentier metro station nearby to me. I'll be there for the night sleeping, which is what I need to do in a bit. Oh, of course, the uh, metro trains, they're not as long as the London Underground, and also it doesn't get as hot as the tube either. Anyway, tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm going to go actually up to the top of the Eiffel Tower tomorrow morning. I'm going to get that out of the way to start with. And I think I'll go cruising down the River Seine. And also, I'm going to have a go at doing Garda Leon and Garda Osteles stations. Now, two years ago, I was alright getting on the platforms. Unfortunately, they've been accelerating installing ticket barriers at the stations over here. That might actually uh, ruin my chances of uh, getting on the platforms, I hope it doesn't. I do have my smart card, which might get us on the SNCF Translisten platforms, on and off. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my fifth part. Good night.